Hi everyone, I'm Mitali and I'm going to be talking about the Rippling Software Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at and a bunch of tips for each round. A quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by Rippling Software Engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates through the process and can be booked directly on the website if you need more personalized guidance. Right then, moving on to the interview. The Rippling Software Engineer interview process typically comprises the following four rounds. First, the recruiter call. Second, the technical phone screen. Third, the hiring manager screen. And finally, the on-site round. Let's discuss the recruiter call first. So this is your first interaction with Rippling's hiring team. A recruiter will be giving you an overview of the company's mission, culture, and values. They'll walk you through the interview process, explaining what each stage entails and what to expect. Three quick tips for this round. It usually begins with the famous, tell me about yourself prompt. So make sure you have a crisp and concise overview of yourself and your professional journey ready. Maybe also include a nugget that helps you stand out and be memorable. Next, have a clear reason for why you're applying to Rippling as well as why you think you'd succeed there as a software engineer. The recruiter might ask you some basic behavioral questions to get a sense of your work style and personality. So think ahead and pinpoint a couple of impactful stories from your past experiences that highlight your fit for the role. Okay then, moving to the technical phone screen, this stage typically lasts for about an hour and is held on a platform called CodePair. Two quick tips for this round. Expect coding questions similar to those found on LeetCode, such as manipulating and traversing arrays, string manipulation operations on linked lists. Implementing scripting algorithms like merge, sort, or solving search problems like binary search. And make sure you are prepared to explain your thought process and reasoning behind the solutions you propose. Now coming to the HR screen, here you'll typically meet with a hiring manager to further assess your fit for the team and the role. They typically ask about your previous roles, the projects you've worked on, and so on. Two quick tips. One, be sure to discuss your experiences in detail this means the workflows and processes you have followed, your contributions to specific projects, challenges you faced, etc. Have a couple of stories so you can articulate your abilities in different scenarios. Two, sometimes HRs ask you to present a specific project you've worked on. This could be a project from a previous job, a personal project, or an academic project. You'll likely be given advance notice, so be prepared for a presentation interview as well. So the on-site round from Lipping Software Engineers typically consists of three to four interviews. First is a coding interview. Here you'll either use your IDE with screen sharing or code pair. It's a 90-minute session comprising two parts. In the first part, you'll be asked to build something practical, such as a simple HTTP server or REST APIs. Next part will be spent discussing your approach, any challenges faced, and how you would improve or scale it, etc. Our advice, practice coding questions a lot. Moving on, the second on-site round is also a coding round. This one typically includes lead code style coding questions that build on each other. So for instance, you may ask to design something like a data structure that supports operations like inserting objects, and then ask you to calculate the average of all objects within a given time. Practice is key here. You might want to partner with a Rippling software engineer to practice coding in a collaborative manner. Prepfully has several software engineers who can help you out. Check out the link in the description box. Next is the system design round. Here you'll be assessed on your ability to design high-level scalable systems. This round is typically used for leveling as in to determine if you're suitable for more senior or specialized roles within the organization. You could be asked to design something like a URL shortening service or a file sharing system. You should be able to weigh the pros and cons of different design approaches and explain your decisions. They'll throw a lot of questions at you about scaling as well. Beyond that, be prepared to discuss performance, optimization, reliability, and potential challenges. That brings us to the last and final round, a behavioral interview with either a manager or software engineer at Rippling. Be ready to share stories that demonstrate that you share Rippling's values and possess skills that make you a great fit for their company culture. We'd recommend practicing this interview with a mock interviewer. There are several software engineers at Rippling who provide great practice and guidance on dealing with the twists and turns this interview can take, and you can book a slot with them on Prepfully. Find the link in the description box. Right, that's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description. 
don't forget to check them out. If you found the video helpful, do like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.